Hey, what's going on? What's going on with you? Are you yes, I am. What's Tom building? He is? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so is this the plane that actually made an appearance on the, uh, the year before in Aerostates at, an, at, a, at, a, at one of the Aerostates events the year before in 2022? Yes. That was the plane that made the, the appearance, right? In the calendar? Are you talking about that plane? In the, yeah, in the calendar? Yes, that float plane. Uh, yeah, it's a seaplane. So the seaplane actually made an appearance at an Aerostates event, right? Yes. So how often is the seaplane going to make appearances at Aerostates events? How often? Well, we don't have very many events, so probably all of them. So what, if, so what are the typical events the seaplane usually makes an appearance at? It was um number eighteen. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Your eighteenth birthday. Yes. And um, that's and that's it. So, do you think the seaplane's going to make an appearance at an aerospace event in twenty twenty four? Maybe if you turn twenty. Since twenty, I believe, is a milestone birthday, so a lot of people say it is, right? So t t typically it's the numbers that end in 5 or 0, right? Yes. And 21 is a milestone birthday. Well, why? Why? You tell me. Is it illegal to drink? Ta-da! So the reason for, so like, the reason, so, 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 so you know what's actually kind of uncommon for a, mile, for, a, for a milestone birthday, the number to end in a, um, the, the least common numbers for an age to end in, like for milestone birthdays, the numbers that the, the the least, well, 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 the numbers that end in the numbers that end in the least common usually are the numbers that end in one, two, three, six, seven, eight, and nine. Oh. But. But the numbers that are the most common are the five are the numbers that end in five or zero. Yes. But eighteen was a big age. Well that's the year you graduated. Yep. Well 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 thirteen as has more than one reason. You besides becoming a teenager, it means you're old enough to drive a boat. At thirteen? Yes, at thirteen, yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Fourteen is a golf cart and a jet ski. 15, 15, 15 is a motorcycle. 16 is a car or a pickup truck or even an airplane. 17, yeah, I think is an agricultural tractor. I think that's what 17 is. Not sure if I can think of anything for 18. You know, you can drive all those a lot younger. You just can't have a license. Well, but um, 16 is also a side-by-side. -side. Which you have. Yes. But that side-by-side -side is, it's lower to the ground compared, but, um, it's, it's made by the same manufacturer as my mom's, but mine's a different model, and it's a smaller size, and... Yours is made for sport. Right, but, uh, and, and I believe, and it's the easiest, and I, they thought, and I thought it was... The e it's the, e the easiest for me to handle. Uh, Possibly the easiest for me to handle. Just a good place to start. Oh, you gotta go. Yep. Um, Champers and uh, Champer and Nimbin. Okay. Nimbin. Oh. Did you um? Uh, do you have to catch him up? You mean sew up his tail? Yeah. That's on the list to do. Yeah. Um, I actually, I actually am going to sewing today. To make which one? Um, I bet you know already. I can guess. Uh, Bendigo? Yes, Bendigo. Uh, it's Bendigo. I know, I say Bendigo. Because it annoys me. 
Would you say? Bendigo! Bendigo. So Marcy, what would you do if you were in the Willis house and you actually heard a num tum number one doll go off actually saying this num tum number one, Bendigo! Uh, what would you do? What would I do? If you heard that in the Willits house. I'd be like, where's your num tum, baby? Hope this is not a copyrighted song. No, not really. It's only a little famous. Are you gonna put it on your um, YouTube channel? Yes, I am. There you go. Uh, okay. no so, what? So, Marcy. <laughs> Marcy, what would you do uh, if you actually were at the Willits house? Um, and you um. So, Marcy, what? So, Marcy. Who do you think you would you, you actually would buy a num tum doll that resembles an infant as a gift? Who would you buy it as a gift for in Arrow uh, States? You. And um uh, maybe uh you. Yes, it would be me. <laughs> Only you. Or myself. Well but um but uh, but um but but it was a num tum doll that resembled an infant and it came with a bottle. Oh. Who would you buy it for? So, it's like to find a video, on, on some audio on YouTube of some baby noises, but um, but 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 apparently the baby noises, like, but appar but apparently it had phrases. Apparently, actually, it had phrases. <laughs> we're not gonna say that. But um, but 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 they were clean phrases. Oh, okay. Like, I love you. It said, "I love you, mommy." I love you, mommy. Or, ah, oh, pick me up off the dirt. But um. Uh, <laughs> but um, but uh, <laughs> but um, but apparently that that that, that typically typically it would say things like "Will you feed me?" Oh. And and saying um and saying that it's hungry. Oh, okay. And saying or saying that it wants to be rocked to sleep. Those are all the things I say. <laughs> typically I'm. Um, Typically, that applies with a num tum doll that resembles an infant. So, what do you think? And what do you think Scampy would do um, if he actually heard the doll actually say, "Will you rock me to sleep?" Check it. He can go one, two, three. <laughs> do you think he would throw it out of the house? Go fetch. Go fetch Carly. Like he'd say. Um. What else you doing? Um. Um, as of as of today, as of right, as of today, as of right now, um, I actually am headed to sewing. Oh yeah, that's right. And possibly I'm also going to be getting the mail too. You have the key? Sure do. Is it on your side by side? It is. Okay. Are you expecting anything? Um, I think I'm expecting some, some, some postage and stamps. So, some forever, for for when I ship. U.S. The pretty ones? Do you order them because they're pretty? Um, I, I believe, um, I believe, I believe the ones that I really like, um, um, on the little ones I really like, um, I actually like the cat and, the, the cat and dog ones. Have you ever seen those? Uh, yes. You've seen, you've seen them on my letters, right? Yeah. Talk about the flower stamps. Um, they're pictures of famous gardens. They're real gardens, and it's like it's anything from them and snow or the flowering plants and trees. Yep. Um, so Marcy, what, what 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 would you do if I actually brought? So so Marcy, what so. So Marcy, what would you do um, if Scampy actually heard of actually heard his um, actually heard his um, little sisters um, actually heard his li little sisters um, his little sister I believe was playing his little sister I believe got um, a num tum doll that resembled an infant for her for her twentieth birthday and, um, and 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 apparently and and and, and, and apparently. 
and apparently um and apparently his little sister apparently kept squeezing its belly uh, well, that's what thinking, but and, 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 and apparently it said it actually it actually said it, it actually said things like their name and their num tum number Well, but um, but 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 appar but apparently, um, apparently, 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 his his mom, his mom Melinda Willits' side of the family apparently gave it to his little sister as a gift for her twentieth birthday. He still think it's cute. He's a cute kid. Well, uh, he thought he after, he he possibly actually he would find it annoying. But that's typically what that what I'm kidding. No, I'm getting off camera. Why? I'm being shy now. Marcy? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm running away from the camera. Are you just joking? A little bit. So what would you do? Like and the num tum doll some other that resembled an infant also also some other things that the phrases that that, that, that it said was Asking, asking, um, asking, asking if if he or she would like if they um like I described that like if 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 the gnome tom doll would 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 rock him to sleep. Uh, then you'd have to rock him to sleep. You'd have to confirm. And um, or it, and um, and it even said things like and it it, 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 and it even and it even said. Even said for it, like 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 if it was hungry or if it was sleepy. Um, it would be awesome if it did. You need to you need to put one in in the one you're making now. That I says I'm number one. Please rock me to sleep. And what do you think Scampy would do if he heard that in the Willett's house? <laughs> He's like little sisters. He's like younger siblings. Yup. He's hilarious. And do you think he would what be you, a, What do you think he would do? Would he think it, it was good or if it was bad? He would think it's bad. Yeah. And would he find it and chuck it or would he just find it and hide it from you? He possibly <laughs> Do you think he would destroy it? That is. So I was wondering if you ever seen a. So, so Marcy, what would you do if you actually saw a num tum, uh, an advertisement on your TV actually for a num tum doll that resembled an infant? What would you do if you saw a commercial like that on your TV? Mm, I'd buy a 